Hello, E3 Scholars. Mr. Smith here, back with your Mental Health Minute. Just here to talk to you about the importance of sleep. Everyone knows that we need to get a good eight hours sleep. What does that mean? That means getting to bed maybe about nine, 10 at the latest, so you can be up and ready to go. The benefits of sleep have been known to improve levels of depression and additionally, even help on weight loss. It increases levels of concentration when you're doing a test and going through very stressful times. So throughout the day, you may want to feel hmm, like you want to take a nap, but no. If you do take a nap, limit it to only 20 minutes, the sleep that you have at night. And definitely, when it comes to getting sleep at night, no one wants to be up at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning when you got to get up at 6. So once again, enjoy your sleep, take care of it, and get 8 hours. I'm BSU's president, BSU stands for Black Student Union of 2018 and 19. So first we're going to give you the definition of Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa is a unique African American holiday celebrated by millions of families each year between December 26th and January 1st. The word Kwanzaa comes from the Swahili. The word Kwanzaa comes from the African American language Swahili and means first fruits of the harvest. Now I'm going to read the seven principles of Kwanzaa. The first principle is Umoja, which is unity. Um, Kujitakulia, which is self-determination. Ujima, which is collective work and responsibility. Ujama, which is cooperative economics. Nia, which is purpose. Kulumba, which is creativity. And Imani, which is faith. Now, Ms. Carter, would you like to talk about the um, symbols of Kwanzaa? Sure. There's a couple symbols that go along with Kwanzaa. What you're looking at right here, this um, item that is holding the candles is called a kanara. And so the kanara is considered the base and the stock from which African American people came from. There are the seven candles, so for the seven days of Kwanzaa. Each day a different candle is lit. And the center candle is Umoja, because that's the very beginning of the, the Kwanzaa season and it is the very essence of Kwanzaa. And so here at E3, this candle only represents unification of African American people, but here at E3 it's the unification of the school and the community. And as the Bay already pointed out, each day a different candle is lit depending upon which principle it was. This here is called the bandera, and this is the flag that's used to honor African American people with the colors red, black, and green. The red symbolizes the blood that was shed, the black symbolizes the people, and the green is the future that we have. Also, this canara is held on what is called an MKK. The MKK is the mat in which all of the symbols of Kwanzaa are put on. And then again, as um, Nevaeh had mentioned, it's, it means that first season, the fruits of the season, all of that. You'll see a table for Kwanzaa just filled with fruits and vegetables. So as you walk around for us, you'll see we have tables and there's corn and there's oranges and apples and all of that. Because again, just realizing that the labor that went into producing this food was in our country was done on the backs of African Americans. 